thanks for popping in to see some of my recent makes. I've got quite an eclectic mix today, but hopefully there'll be something here that grabs your fancy. I'm just going to start straight away. The first thing I wanted to share was Caroline's Craft Tree. I will link all the videos down below that I've used. This is one of her freebies. This is how slow I work. This is an October freebie from 2022. Finally got round to making it. Thought this was such a lovely thing for a freebie. She gives you all these printables. So if you want to um, make this for yourself, you'll be able to do it for free. I love the crafty people are so kind, things that they give for free. Um, it's basically three tags, that's the largest one. And then, um, I will take this off. You would glue the whole thing to a page. And then there's little flips and flaps. It's really interesting. That obviously would be on the page at the back. And then these um, have the tags in that she gives you. And so it's just a lovely, on a page, a lovely little um, decoration. But... Um, one of my favourite things lies really really flat so it's not going to bulk out your journal obviously the ribbon here that I've used might bulk it out a little bit but um but pretty much that's a pretty flat thing really isn't it looks if you ignore the bow to go in um, a journal so that's one thing that I've made I shall link it down below then I made, I don't know why, but I was thoroughly um, inspired by Roxy Creations week 10 of her weekly challenge where she made these, I think she called them paper bundles. So I'll put them all there because they just look so lovely all together. And then we'll just show you them. They're all made the same way. The only difference is some have made small and skinny, some are a little bit fatter and shorter. Um, and this one is obviously the biggest one I made. Just a piece of paper that you fold in half and then um, you fold up the bottom part, pop a little band around, which I won't take them all apart, but I'll just show you on this one. So that's my little band. Obviously, I've glued that on the back and that the reason for that was it didn't quite meet up. Um, it's just a piece of paper, as you can see, if we take all the bits out, we fold it up and it just makes this lovely place with lots of spots to tuck in. You could tuck in there if you wanted. Obviously, I've tucked things in here and this front one. And um, on some of them, I don't think I've done this, I can't remember, but on some um, people who've been making these, they also took something into this band as well. Um, the reason I like this is because, again, on your journal page, it's just flat as a pancake. I love it. No bulking out. But within that, just look at all the journaling space you've got because you could actually open out the whole thing of this. And obviously, depending on what's on the inside, you could journal all in there. All of these can be journals on the back. Lots of journaling space, but equally on a page, that just looks gorgeous. So that's the biggest one I made tiny little one made exactly the same way obviously you'd be writing all in there you can tuck something in there just love these little tags that's that one this one oops my little bands falling down um obviously you use all different sorts of papers um i've popped a little playing card in there because i wanted this as a blue themed one but oh i just love these they were absolutely addictive to make I'm just so full of interesting bits and bobs and like I said lots to journaling that's possibly my most favorite and these are just you know bits of cut-offs of old paper I've got this is a Vanity Fair book that I've used on the background pop little things in and the final one of those next thing to move on to I did say it was a bit of an eclectic mix is this journal a notebook that I've made this was a Wendy's journal adventures um, inspired make that was from December 2022. She made a Christmas list themed journal. I, because it's spring and summer here in the UK, I think I was just feeling very flowery and inspired by now, really. So I'll just quickly show you how I made this. This came together in no time at all. And I really do love it because it's just full of different interesting things. Again, the video will be down below if you want to make your own. This is just some sari silk to close it. A printable there, stitched the sari silk in. I actually stitched that on a machine and I decided to go all the way around because I just like the uniform look of that. Then as we go in, there's a lovely little tuck here. 
with a piece of um, printable, might be ruby and pearl, can't quite remember. Uh, obviously the whale tail tab there with a the little butterfly on. Um, it's just a mix of different pages, um, decorated but also not decorated. You can write in this. Um, that flips out all the way to there. I'm sorry if there's shadows. That's like that. This is just a page that I've collaged together. So just stuck that onto there just to make a really nice pull out. Plain pages. I've just punched the corners of. Um, but you get the feel of this. This is very summery, very bright, very flowery. I just, I'm really into this collaging to make extra long pages. It's the centre of the signature. Just pop some snippet roll down. Little tag there, the little thin piece of paper there. And as you can see, that was the original page just to there. Little corner pop, pocket there, you can pop things in. Little pocket there with the uh, faux uh, or digi uh, ledger page. Love this pocket, so pretty, all the dog roses. More roses there, just leave the pages ripped. Just really like this. If you look at mine compared to Wendy's that she made, you will see that hers is obviously Christmas themed and mine is obviously summer, flowery, botanical, my kind of thing for the time of the year themed. I'll tie that back up afterwards. Uh, this, there's not a lot to show on this, but these are just some works in progress, I would call these. Uh, these are going to be books. This is just some handmade paper, um, but it's just quite nice. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Quite nice. Um, cut off bits of book page it's just something different isn't it instead of using the whole book page they're going to have some Japanese binding on here I've never done that before so I've got to really study my YouTube videos to learn how to do that and then you just basically can decorate up all these different pages however you like I've just done two at the moment see how I get on with them that's also upside down but anyway I will come back another time to show you them when they are finished um, my last thing for today is these, which I am also, as you can see from how many I've made, addicted to now making. Um, which craft do you do made these paper scrolls? Um, so I've left one not quite finished just so you can sort of understand. You're basically rolling up pieces of paper, strips of paper. I've made mine all different sizes. We've gone from little tiny ones to this size. You roll them all up, you're just gluing it as you go. But listen to how hard they are. They are rock hard when they've glued. You used, um, what did I use on this? Art glitter glue, I think. Anyway, so you, you roll it up, roll it up, and you get a tube. And then on the end, you just pop something. Now, obviously on the smaller ones, and I think the one she did, she just popped um, buttons, you know? So I did that on these smaller ones, because you could. But I mean, they're so rock hard. And I obviously covered mine then afterwards with some printable paper I mean I've used um, that's some Kath Kidston gift wrap that I've got I've used um, scrapbook paper all sorts of things but anyway on the larger ones obviously you can't get a button easily to fit that so I just cut out three layers of card and you can hear that they're really hard and firm and then what you use these for is wrapping your ribbons, your laces, whatever you want around. And it keeps them really neat and tidy. Well, it does if you tie your ends in, look. And um, just pop a pin in there. So obviously you just pop your laces around and it keeps them really neat and tidy. And I know that I've got a couple of dolly pegs because that's how I had been doing it, wrapping around dolly pegs. But I really liked making these. If you want to make your own, I'm going to link the video down below. They were a lot of fun. They were really easy. It was something different from journal making. And obviously at the end, you come out with these really actually useful um, items. So I shall link that down below just in case you didn't see her video. But they were a lot of fun to make. Um, I am going to be back quite soon with another video of things that I am in the progress of making. But for now, that's all. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye.